Good luck, dudes. Jumbo, dual box, random division. A.O. West at six. A.O. West is at six. Ten times, ten times. Three, two, one. Boom. Turkalicious. Turk. TSB veteran. Pulling down the AO West for a dual box. Divisional. I can't believe the Jets are thinking about taking another daggone quarterback. That's unbelievable. How many freaking quarterbacks do they need? NL Central for Des Plaines. And the NL East. Ryan, you got the AL East. Dodgers have 15 autos in this? AL East for Weiss. Ryan. Dietz. You got the AL Central. Scorpio, NL West. And Turk, you have the AL West. I don't even know if Turk's watching. Where are you? Show yourself. Next is the BOGO tiered. Which I think Tyson did 12 and 12, right? And you put the other teams to the side so I can random those. I think I'm going to change the blitz mix. I just had a thought. I just thought of something. I think I'm going to change the blitz mix. Or maybe just do a mini blitz this weekend. This baseball took over. All right, everybody. Let's do it. Next up is the BOGO tiered, if you're in that. Thanks, everybody, for your patience. If patience is considered watching uh, someone open up cards. AL Central is um, Ozzy Albies, right? I think he's in this. Brendan McKay, I think. Not Brendan McKay. Uh, Minnesota.
Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do blitz mix. I'm I'm really thinking about it now. It's a Wednesday night. I should have had it up on a Monday. It's draft week. I thought this is what I really thought. I forgot that they start the draft on Thursdays now. It used to be a fun like weekend, but by the time Saturday rolls around, it's like round freaking seventeen. You could try a Blitz Mix Mini, but I don't know if it's going to go down. Hunter Harvey to 250. I mean, I've already talked to a few of my big customers, and they have all said the same thing. Dude, I spent a lot of money on Bowman this week. Bum, ba, da, 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 bum, bum, ba, da, da. You know, there's usually a couple guys that buy two spots each. You get five or six dudes that buy two spots. That's 12 to 15 spots. It's half the break. I think I'll lower. I think I'll do like a maybe a $79 blitz mix. I'll just tweak it a little bit tomorrow. That's what she said. I'm just going to mess with it a little bit. <laughs> I know you're... I don't think you really buy in, do you? Every now and again. Sean Murphy. I am going to amend it, I think. Elements. Majestic. Metal? I haven't seen the cards. Metal with rounded edges. Otani for Turkey. Turkish. Frank Franklin Cologne. 50 spot. No corners. I can't tell if that's going to be dope or not. Doesn't sound too dope. Round cards. Oh, gold standard football. That's that's a quiet product, man. That stuff jumped up in price. It's held its price too. Like what is it? One sixty a box. There's gold standard seventeen. Look at Tyson pre-selling. I love it. You sound like me. I like it. Are you in sales? I know you're just talking, but I'm excited about what they're doing for the new XR. It's called XR2. $499, Forrest Whitley. XR2 coming out this summer has screen used tickled relics in it like from some of the clothes that the professional ticklers were wearing you get tickled relics because so i think they shot a scene once at a ballpark or something i mean at a football game Four ninety nine tj zish <laughs> Uh, sometimes I just like to see who's listening. 
That could be a Michael Scott joke. Could be a tickled reference. Especially when I see tickled license plates. Sometimes I ask myself, what what kind of job do I have? What what's wrong with my life? That I'm out and about and I see a car with the license plate that says tickled. The license plate said tickled. And I laugh to myself and take a picture of it. What What's wrong with that picture? And then tickled the movie, the original. The verified Twitter handle responded. They retweeted it. They retweeted Anthony Carter's tickled tweet, which of course makes sense because he worked for them, but I love it. Hashtag never gets old. Combo breaks for tomorrow. What, uh... I thought about mixing them up. It sucks that it's draft night, but... As Carter would say, who cares? Do you want to sell products? I'm sure that's what he'll be telling the people when he moves here and works at the uh, at the riverboat. <laughs> Wait a minute. You thought about just mixing a hobby with a jumbo? Oh, I didn't realize that. I wanted to do it with tiered. Whoa! Shiny Jordan Humphreys gold. Let's play the what if game. What if that was Otani? Semi hobby famous? Yeah, Majestic is up. They added more to it though. Did you read what they did? They added more hits. Told his trick in the book. And I believe it's a six box case. Hunter Harvey, 250. I'm still trying to figure out things believe it or not after four years like panini some of their products they have like a very what i would say generous and fair margin from our cost wholesale versus uh msrp what the manufacturer you know suggested retail prices right and then some products there's it's there's like zero and there's no rhyme or reason. It's not like, oh, the expensive stuff has a higher margin and then the cheaper stuff has lower. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. And it's like, who, who comes up with these prices? How do they determine that? So, keeps you on your toes. Tops is very similar too. They don't have standard pricing like Panini does like we all basically pay the same for Panini products. It's, if you're approved to buy from Panini, here comes something gold and shiny, and it is a MJ Melendez to 75. A blue Kingery? I don't believe I've had a blue Kingery. Yeah, it's a blue Kingery to 4.99. Robert. What the heck am I going to eat tonight? Oh, I got cheese and crackers. Dope.
Tops, there's literally zero margin when you buy new Tops products, except for now, in like last year, Dorn Aaron Judge, because the market drove the price up. But if there's nothing driving it, like Aaron Judge or, you know, Cody Bellinger and just the excitement last year or the year before at the Cubs, man, it's like, why would I even buy Tops and sell it? I can't make any money. All the time you put in. So let's talk about summertime. Spring and summer. Nate's done school in 30 days or so. Okay? Nate is out of school in about 30 days or so. I, I'm not going anywhere. But I'm going to try and take another night off during the week. Or do a day break somewhere. I don't know what I'm going to do, but there's a nice hit. Austin Hayes Auto. So we're going to try and see what we can do with Nate doing some more breaks in the summer. You know, he could do all the new release stuff too. It doesn't always have to be Nate breaks. He's just doing that now because he likes doing it. He can make some extra money, but things may change. <laughs> no, I was look. I was thinking I was going to look up, and Carter would say, "Oh, we like him better anyway." There's Kyle Lewis. No, we got plans. It's just when he's in school. There's. It's tough. Yeah, man. I want to start, and Carter and I talk about this stuff, and others of you guys. We'd like to have a product. I mean, our monster theme is just begging to have some sort of a buyback product. You know? TSB Monster Box. Picture Matt Yerkes can make a dope graphic of a box with a monster peeking out of it. It says, like, caution on the box, you know? Like in Jurassic Park when they're moving animals around, those kind of boxes, and it's a monster box. Oh, we try. I mean, I got you guys raised the bar, or did you lower it? Did you lower the bar or did you raise it? I forget. Wait, you lowered it because your mid shelf breaks. I got to get Carter set up because he's moving here this summer. Got him connected with the people down at the riverboat here. Got to get him acclimated with the town and where everything's at. And Good thing we're in real estate so we can help him find a house. I can find him a short-term rental till he finds a place he wants to buy with his family. <laughs> Handsome man. Mid shelf breaks. We don't raise the bar, we lower the bar. Corp is handsome. He had all the ladies at the National, all two of them, come hang out with him. One of them was his wife, <laughs> Joey Wentz. It's actually Tom Brady in disguise. Rob, you can't be the bard. Chevy's already that, and so is the wrestlers. We are the bar. Do you watch wrestling? Come on, Hunter Auto, on it. I mean, I, I want Otani just for tweetable pictures reasons and for my customer. 
But I, I really want to see a dope ass hunter. That's my dude. Oh. You are at the bar. Yes. At mid shelf breaks. We aren't the bar. We are at the bar. In your half shirts. Carter, how many bedrooms are you guys looking for again? What are we looking, putting you in the search for when you come out here looking, prospecting in two weeks for places to live? A three bedroom? Oh, four bedroom. All right. Well, just got to narrow down which town you want to live in. I want you to live in close to here, so you're because you're gonna be here a lot in our new retail location in St. Charles. Rob, did you hear? Rob knows the area. There's a guy who has a coin shop, coins and collectibles, right there in St. Charles downtown, by the river. He's leaving that location. He's looking for a new location. He wants it by June. Our plan, unofficial, is to share that space together. Yeah, exactly. St. Charles. Like I said, though, provided he's not like, yeah, I need a thousand dollars. If it's like, I can give him three to four hundred bucks a month and just let me use your location so I can sell my upper deck products out of it. Well, you're closer to St. Charles, right? Coming out here is quite a hike for you. That's why when Carter moves here, I don't want him living far. I want him to live in South Elgin or maybe Pingree Grove where we had lunch. He would, he would like that town. Jordan Humphreys. He's going to work downtown at the uh, riverboat, probably. So, he's got to live nearby. Just to start, he's going to do that. He's going to be a part-time, part-timer here. It's not even part-time. It's like part-time, part-time. Is Joe Adele in this? I already asked, didn't get an answer. Autos, Joe Adele. Whatever happened to him? <laughs> the Salem Witch Trials. Yeah, I don't think there is a North Elgin. I'm in a West Elgin. I mean, I guess there could... That's what I understand. I live in West Elgin, but I live right next to South Elgin. I'm basically got like almost one foot in South Elgin. Like you can walk out my front door and be like, oh, okay, I'm in Elgin, West Elgin. But over there in the backyard, it's almost South Elgin. It's very weird. So I don't, I don't get that. That's a very good question. And you win for asking dope questions about Elgin. Who's better, Royce Lewis or Brendan McKay? Collectability. I do uh, Welgin represent. This is what we do here because the W's Welgin. Oh well, yeah. I want someone to come out here and take over and like uh, really put together like a real freaking deal. 
monster box product build it run it I'll sell it I'll finance it it's a new one Jaron Kendall Dodgers a Baylor hospital I don't think so there's a Sherman Bryce Wilson Sherman hospitals here Uh oh, here we go. Well, that's the person that's putting it together is getting paid to do it. They're gonna do re they gotta do all the research, put it together, build it. Show me the numbers. That's their job. Otani. I mean, it didn't even at least do some sort of a variation, Otani. Congratulations. I'd say congratulations. Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. Not bad. Twenty four minutes. Four box jumbo. Is that four boxes or two? Oh, I was going to say, I was thinking I was rocking out freaking four boxes. Something, something didn't seem right. That was dual box. That's why I was so excited. Like, the other one took me like 40-some minutes. Well, that's because it was four. Monsters are waiting, waiting for you. The Bogo tier. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Uh, this sheet says after Bogo tier is Jumbo Dual Box Random Division Six Box Half Case 
or I'm sorry, triple team tiered. So six box half case BOGO tiered. Hobbies. It's on the screen. It's next, Sherbet. From EBW. See it? Kevin Hammy. Who's that? A new dude? Kobe! I know, dude. I know. Ugh. Here comes Bogo tier, two teams per spot, 12 and 12. And then we will random those remaining teams. I suppose I could just make them combos, but for some reason I like to random them again to the break. I think it's more fun. Scorpio was the last spot bought three hours ago. Wow. So these players are Kevin, Nick, Travis, Keith, RD, Seawalk, Kobe, Matt, Matt E, Blake, and Ryan O. Closing it out. And then let me go to my extremely dope BOGO tiered set up by my main man Tyson Here we go, everybody. Thanks. Got some new dudes in here. Get them excited. Could a brand new dude hit a super monster in this? I need the dudes in the truck to hit me up with some. There we go. 